Hey, it's Ruben in the shop bringing you a haul video. Um, I went to a few thrift stores this morning, had some auction pickups, and uh, found some pretty cool stuff. My name's Ruben. I'm a longtime reseller. I like to uh, show people on this channel what I pick up, what I'm selling, give them prices in the hopes that hopefully you'll see something similar out there in thrift stores, antique malls, wherever it is you shop. Um, let's see what's coming into the shop. As you can see, we've got a lot of stuff here. Um, we'll start with this Furby, see if he'll talk to us. Hey, Lulu. Hey, Lulu, what do you have to say for yourself? Nothing. Um, so it had this sticker on there, Furby, ah! tested, doesn't work, $2. Um, you can see where it was priced at $10 at one point. I got it just because I figured it would sell anyways, and then I had to test it, and it does work. Yeah. See? It just worked right there. Um, pretty interesting thing. I think I can get 50 bucks for it. Let's back out. We'll move left to right from here on out. Um, got this pair of shoes. Bless you. Uh, Advocate Touring. These are actually bicycle shoes, like from the 80s. Uh, look unused suede they have a cool look uh paid two bucks for them and yeah i'm thinking they're a 30 40 dollar thing got this t-shirt also at assistance league um not a name i know just has a good look good stripe uh paid a couple bucks lulu shut up um next is this t-shirt adventureland vintage Disney. I sold some Disney shirts yesterday, so thought I'd keep the train rolling with that one. Uh, paid two dollars and sixty-nine cents. I had this Carhartt sweatshirt. Paid three bucks for it. Um, needs to be cleaned and use a pilling machine on it. Um, hopefully, that's a twenty-five dollar thing. I got my favorite: the bags of T-shirts. They're a dollar a piece at um, Animal Humane. And you never know what you're gonna get in there. I'm gonna try to do a live, or not a live, but I'll record myself opening these up, see if there's any gold. Last time I found a slightly stupid t-shirt and sold it this morning for 50 bucks. So pretty cool. Um, here's a little bit of media. Got this at the Salvation Army. Had to pick this up, haven't looked it up yet, but Gospel Gangsters. You do wanna look for early rap. Um, CD or I'm sorry cassette tapes this one. I don't know if it's gonna have any value, but I thought that was interesting Joaquin Sabina um, This is worth about ten bucks and then this was sealed Neil Diamond um, the you and I uh, studio albums, so this is all his early stuff and I didn't even notice it was sealed at first, and that says uni on it, something that's you and I. I'm not sure. I'm fairly certain, well, it must be sealed because these are the hype stickers and they're on the outside of this plastic. So yeah, it is sealed. Um, originally $29.99, I hope I can get that price. We will see. I might just keep the Furby. Um, next is... <laughs> Or figure out how to turn it off one second okay we're back um, got this guy here this doll I saw it last week it's at, it was at the animal humane um, it looked familiar and sure enough I have one of these in my store now it's called a fuffle doll f-u-f-e-l um, I know that because my other one has a tag this one doesn't it was priced at five bucks but it was half off today so 250 um, got this cool clock has UNM. It's a Jostens clock, so like the people that make school rings and stuff. Um, it was only three dollars. I think it has a cool look, and I've had pretty good success selling UNM stuff locally. Um, it sells on eBay, and then people pick it up from me. Next is this Tootsie toy, the Red Baron. Um, paid ten dollars for it. If you look them up, um, there's not many for sale right now. And they're not that expensive, but I just felt it being in the box from 1977 was pretty cool. So I'll dust that off and 
I'm going to list it for 40, 50. I'm going to list it for 50, hope to get 40 for it. Um, yeah. Next is, let's go down here real quick. I have these three paintings. They're probably done locally, acrylic, um, Cyclops, definitely not um, Disney approved. I thought they were cool. I probably paid too much. I bought them at auction and paid 30 bucks for the lot. So I might hang them in somewhere. I don't know. Uh, next is this yardstick, wood yardstick. You'll see there it says Crown City Mattress Works, mattresses, box springs, sterilization plant. And it has the phone number, which is all four digits. It says Pasadena. I don't know if that's Pasadena, California or Pasadena, Texas. I bet you it's Texas. Um, those sometimes have value if there's the right advertisement, but that came in a lot with, with stuff. Uh, what else is on this table? We have these. This is cool ephemera, wig stock 92. Um, these are, um, well, you all know RuPaul probably. Uh, so this is an early advertisement for their album. Um, this is just like a press sticker. Um, it, this uh, wig stock is a drag queen event. And then we have this poster. So that's pretty cool. Got this at the local auction. Um, I paid, I want to say, $12. And this is just really great ephemera. Um, not even that old, so, what, 30 years old? But has a lot of cultural rele relevance. So I'm going to get that listed. I'm going to put a high price on it. Uh, I'll check to see if there are any comps. I doubt it. Um, but I'll put a high price on it. Hopefully that stack is worth 100 bucks or more. Um, have that little Santo in the back. I got that at uh, the Assistance League. It was on the wall. Seven bucks. There's a name on the back. They usually don't have a name. So this one's probably from the 90s to present. And it's like R. Derek something. So I'll do some research with that. Hopefully that's like a $50 thing. Look at this horse. Got this at the local auction. Um, again, paid about 12 14 bucks for it. Uh, I just thought it was kind of interesting that the artists or folk artists who made this decided that position for the horse because, I mean, a horse grazing isn't very typical, I would say. So, kind of a cool thing. We all know I love my carved horses. We got that guy right there. Um, he's for sale if you want him. 400 bucks. Doesn't come with a hat. But, We'll add that to, yeah, to the collection slash to the store. Um, I don't know what I can get for that. I'll probably price it too high and see what happens. Next is this pair of bumper stickers, Nix on Nixon. So I don't think that's the greatest slogan, but definitely anti-Nixon sticker. Pretty cool. Paid five bucks for the pair. Hopefully get ten bucks each. Um, so this was the buy. I paid... After fees, 400 bucks for everything right here. Um, cool. Glass case, which is pretty cool. And look at all the silver and turquoise. Lots of jewelry. Got five rings total here. This one is pewter. The rest are silver. Um, so how much can I get for these? I basically paid $16 a piece. Let's say, let's X this one out and say we paid 20 bucks a piece. I have to be able to sell these for 40 bucks a piece, right? Some big pieces. Look at this big chunk of turquoise that's in here. That can make quite a few rings, I bet. Um, I have an idea of how I'm going to go about selling these. I have a bunch of, not a bunch, but quite a bit of uh, Southwestern jewelry that I just pick up at the auctions. And I think I got an idea. Next up is this jacket. I got this at the Assistance League. I haven't shopped at the Assistance League and maybe a year because every time I would go there was like a line to get in and I just don't have the time to be waiting to shop and it's so small that I mean all the good stuff would be gone by the time I got in so but this was their um, nice afternoon find New Mexico ASA state champions ASA I believe is something to do with archery 
So that's a pretty cool satin jacket. Um, got this piece of art. Didn't know anything about the artist. Uh, signed, print. Uh, I just really liked it, so I bought it. It was 14 bucks. You can see someone was trying to get 45 down there in the corner. Um, next was this picture. Uh, I saw this in the catalog and was pr pretty excited about it. This is a famous image. Oh, gosh. I'll look up the artist and everything, put it up here for you. Um, I knew that this wasn't a, uh, actual painting. It's a print, but it's a really nice one. It's on canvas. I have two of these. They're also Southwest, um, Southwestern. You can see though that there is like this weird damage to it that I didn't know about. It was only five bucks, but I still think that's like a good thing to put on the wall for, 150 bucks what do you think um let's go down to we'll end on that stuff got some clothes you know i love my clothes so uh got all of these items at auction this first one is a christian dior uh, monsieur trench coat double breasted which is cool paid 11 dollars for it it's not the season but the season will come back around and hopefully that's an $80 jacket, maybe more. This was cool. Saw this in the catalog and was pretty amped on it. It is St. John Couture. Made in China, though. Interesting. Um, I always understand Couture to be like the top end of a brand. And... I don't, I don't know what makes something couture. I just know that it's something to know about. Size 8, pretty shiny, pretty cool. Uh, paid $16 for it. That thing retails for $1,600. Hopefully I can get 2 to 250 We shall see. Paid up for this guy. This is a Letterman sweater. Um, I paid $25 for this. I got it because they were the champions. And who doesn't like a champ? B champs so I don't know if this was like the JV team champions or what but look at that 1949 so that's a 72 71 year old 72 year old sweater um, quite impressive we have this guy was a what would you call it um, a renaissance man he played some football he was in the choir or band here I wouldn't doubt if that's a sterling silver pin pretty cool pin um what is that bowling maybe looks like so looks like a female bowler then we have the mass so probably in theater and that pin i don't know what that would be for but pretty cool um good size to it too it's probably a, a strong large um, what's that worth to you guys? To me, it's a hundred dollar bill. Um, hopefully more. And finally, we got this. I'm all over the place. So my light's in my way right now. I'm trying to figure a way around it. Here we go. We got this sponsor, Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta jacket. Look at the Zia symbols on the knit. Very cool. Very cool. Paid $12, I believe, for this. Uh, let's check out the back. U.S. West, Albuquerque, 1988. How cool is that? Um, paid 12 to 16 bucks for it. I'm going to sell it for 65 75 We shall see. And we'll move to the final table. All this great stuff. Very happy. Boom. We have a typewriter. And some Amiga games. You've probably seen me sell um, computer games in the past. Unfortunately, a lot of the time they don't come with the boxes. If they had the boxes, it'd be a big bonus. Let's run through these. Um, I paid 67 for the lot. There's 13 there, I think. So if 10 of them, I sell, well, hopefully 20 bucks a piece is, what, 260? So that's good enough profit, and hopefully there's some gems here. Citadel, Adventures of Crystal Deep. I couldn't find this one. It was in the picture, um, but it wasn't. 
I couldn't find it on eBay. Play Spy. So, there's all the... Let's see. Sierra. Well, we'll do some researching later. Uh, maximum Overkill. Oh, why is this loose? Is this... I don't know. Um, Dungeon Master. Dragon Force. I either have sold this or have one right now. Wings. Meg Johnson Basketball. That one's not very good. Does it have the poster? It does have... Is it the poster? Yep. has the poster. Conflict Europe. Sharon 5. Gold Runner 2. Something in there. Ferrari. What does that say? Oh, that looks like that other... That loose disc. Uh, that... Whatever that says. There's that. Gunboat. And Nightmare. Who knows? But I've had success with these, so I was excited to get some. Get them listed. They're easy to list. They're easy to ship. So get that going. This is great. Uh, Hermes Rocket. This is a typewriter. Um, it works. Engineered by Hermes Pressia, Switzerland. Made in Brazil. With the case, it's the white model. There's like a sage green model. That's the one you see the most. Um, they have different colors. They have red, green, pink, um, orange, I want to say. I saw a red one fetching like 500 bucks. I did see a white one, like this one, uh, sold for 720 a couple years ago. I paid $75 for it. I had I almost didn't buy it because I have a stack of typewriters at home and I've told myself not to buy them. But this one was top quality, so I had to get it. It's smooth and ready to go and it's pretty compact, which is nice. Um, well, you'll have to trust me. And finally, this morning my first buy were these two stained glass windows um got this at my favorite little stop salvation army i saw them in the window as i was walking up and knew i was going to make a play for them they were priced at 50 bucks a piece um i looked at them talked to the manager and was like i want them can i have them for 75 and he said, yeah, that's fine. I don't want them to break. And yeah, because he has, I don't know. I've heard him in moments where he's having a little trouble because someone wants to see something and he doesn't want to let them handle it because I guess he has a bad experience, has experienced bad things. So yeah, he's always talking about getting things out so other people won't handle them. Um, pretty cool, pretty cool. What are those worth? <sighs> Do you ship them? I don't know. It's nice that they're a pair. I think that's a bonus. Um, maybe build a house around them. Who knows? There you have it. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you're interested in seeing mo more videos like that, or if you want to see what this stuff ends up selling for, subscribe to the channel. Um, my name is Ruben. I'm having a good day. Hoping you're having a good day. Let's talk again soon.